Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on hard drives and solid state drives. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R340 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, well, let's hop in. Uh, this video is going to be a continuation of our series. It's going to be specifically focused on drives. We're going to go over the different types of drives, the speeds of those different types, the max capacities for those different types. Uh, we're going to show you how to actually install them, which is incredibly easy because they're hot swap. And then we're going to show you two different types of tests. We're going to show you uh, Dell Diagnostics, which is built into the system, uh, which will do more than just testing the drives. We'll test the whole system. Um, and then we're going to show you a tool that we personally like called HD Sentinel, which is going to show you the power on hours and the health score for the drives. So let's just hop in. So first things first, uh, what types of drives are compatible with the uh, Dell PowerEdge R340 server? Well, you have SAS, SATA, and solid state. So with solid state, you can have SAS or SATA, but as a whole, we're just gonna call it solid state just to keep it easy. So on the SAS side, the speeds are gonna be 7.2K, 10K, and 15K. The 7.2Ks will be for your uh, rounder sizes, like your 1TB and 2TB, and the uh, 10K and 15K will be for the, kind of the oddball sizes, your 300, your 600, your 900, your 1.2, and so forth. Um, and on the uh, SATA side, you're gonna have speeds of 7.2K, that's all you get. So obviously SAS, the advantage is just it's faster, right? Uh, but with SATA, uh, 7.2K is gonna be the predominant speed. There are technically some oddball sizes, or oddball speeds, but uh, 7.2K is gonna be really what you're gonna get, okay? On the solid state side, solid state drive side, you're gonna get six gigabit per second, and you're gonna get uh, 12 gigabit per second. Those are your speeds. Um, you can technically put in a 24 gigabit per second, but it's just gonna clock down. Um, so really what you're gonna, your max that you're gonna get is 12, okay? So now on the max capacities, well, that depends on which type of R340 you have. Some R340s are eight bay small form factors and some are four bay large form factors. So depending on if you need a small form factor drive or a large form factor drive will be a huge difference in the overall max capacity. So let's start with the small form factors. So the small form factor on the SAS side, you can get 2.4 terabytes, 2 terabytes on SATA, and 7.68 terabytes on solid state. That's the max capacities that we've played around with. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if someone drops a comment down below and says, hey, they can actually do a larger capacity or they put in something larger. And I'd love to hear that. I actually drop it down just for other users in the future. Um, on the uh, large form factor side, you're going to get for SAS 18 terabytes, 16 terabytes for SATA, and again, 7.68 for the solid state drive. And on solid state drive, normally what we do, uh, we take a uh, 3.5 inch tray and we just put a converter or an adapter and drop in a 2.5 inch solid state drive and they're really just the same. Um, so that's gonna be the max on the capacity side. So, all right, now what we're going to do, now that we know a little bit more about it, we're gonna show you how to actually install your drive, which again, I told you is gonna be super easy. And then we'll show you how to do some uh, testing with Dell Diag and HD Sentinel. Let's get going. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and install one of the drives, which as I've mentioned now for the third time, is gonna be super easy. So watch this, you just click the red circle, pull it out, and it just slides out nice and easy. And then you take your new drive, go ahead and open it up, and slide it in nice and easy, and it'll just click right into place. It's a super easy upgrade. And again, I wanted to show you a little bit closer. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, converter or the adapter right here if you want to put a 2.5 inch into a 3.5 inch. And that's actually how we sell it if you buy a um, uh, solid state drive upgrade for your server and it's for a 3.5 inch. We will uh, offer you an option on our website that'll show you, hey, you can get the converter for the tray just to make sure you have the proper tray because sometimes, honestly, it's a super pain in the butt um, and this is a, a, an important feature that you need if you want to get a 2.5 inch SSD into your 3.5 inch system. All right, so now that we've showed you how to install it, let's go ahead and hop into Dell Diagnostics and then HD Sentinel. Let's get going. Hey guys, this has been with Cloud Ninjas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to test your hard drives and solid state drives with Dell Diagnostics and HD Sentinel. 
Both Dell Diagnostics and HD Sentinel are great tools for not just testing your hard drives, but for testing all of the other components in your system. Specifically, Dell Diagnostics will test more than just your hard drives. It'll go ahead and test your graphics card, your CPU, your memory, um, your RAID card, your network card, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, so it's a really neat tool that allows you to be able to see whether your system is in good health or not. And then HD Sentinel in, um, in particular will just test your hard drives but you can see cool things like the power on hours um, it'll give you like a health score to tell you like how much life the drive still has so it is a really cool tool both of them are, are very easy to use provide a lot of information and in this video I'm going to show you how to use both of them so let's go ahead and get started first we're going to go ahead and get started with Dell Diagnostics so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and boot up your server. Once you boot up your server, you want to go ahead and press F10. Um, and this will go ahead and bring us into the lifecycle controller. Once we're in lifecycle controller, we can go ahead and scroll down to where it says hardware diagnostics. And then we want to go ahead and click on run hardware diagnostics. And then you'll get this little warning right here. So it's just gonna say it's gonna take several minutes so we can go ahead and accept that. Um, and this will load us into Dell Diagnostics. So actually getting into Dell Diagnostics and actually running the test is pretty simple. So we're just gonna let these tests run and these tests can say take several minutes up to several hours. So go ahead and just wait this out. If you're familiar with 12th gen and 13th gen uh, Dell PowerEdge servers, um, you'll notice that this looks very, very different. In the 12th gen and 13th gen, you can actually see the different tests on the left-hand side of the screen, um, and you have a lot more information on the middle of the screen. Um, and it's just a lot more simpler of a screen, but it's just gonna go ahead and run through all of these tests. Um, and at the bottom, you can kind of, you can pause these tests if you want, um, and then you can also see like what test specifically is running at that current time, an estimate of how much time is left for that test. So like I said, these tests are gonna take a little bit of time, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward. So once that final test has stopped running, it'll go ahead and stop. And then we will get a message that pops up on the screen that says success. So this means all of our tests have passed. Um, if you had any issues, then you would get an alternative message saying like, hey, these, these tests failed. Um, and at the very end here, we can actually view all of the information and all the different tests that were ran. Um, and this screen's a little bit more similar as to something we'd see on the 12th gen and 13th gen PowerEdge servers. But yeah, we can go through here, see all the test results for each individual test, uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, the information about the system health, the configuration, um, and we can even go into the event log, which is pretty useful. So that is how we do uh, Dell Diagnostics and how we can test our hard drives, but also, you know, everything else in our system. And if you really want to see if your system is healthy, then go ahead and run Dell Diagnostics. It'll give you a lot of information if all the components are working the way that they should. So now I'm going to show you how to test your hard drives with HD Sentinel. Alrighty guys, so I have HD Sentinel pulled up right now, and as you can see, we currently have two drives plugged in. Uh, we have this installed into a storage array where we like to plug in multiple drives at a time so we can test those drives. HD Sentinel is an awesome tool because you can see things like the power on hours, which is great, especially when you're buying used equipment. You can see how long that, that drive has been in use. You don't want to be using drives that have been you know, heavily used because then you have a higher risk of drive failure. Um, and that's one of the reasons why HD Sentinel is such a cool tool. But as you can see, we can just go ahead and plug a drive into the array and it'll automatically populate within the software. Like I said, lots of information. It'll give you health scores of the drives. As you can see, the two we have up top, they have a 100% health score, while the one at the bottom has a 99%. So all pretty good. So I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, go ahead, smash the subscribe and leave a like. If you're interested in purchasing a custom built server or you're looking to buy some drives, we do have plenty of those in stock. So you can go reach out to us at sales at cloudninjas.com. Sales at cloudninjas.com. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.